Mr. Jensen, David Serov told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be on neuropazine shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrodes seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well, Mr. Sarah did ask me to discuss another topic with you. <sighs> you are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name. Thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please, take a look. Bye. Typhoon. Don't need any of that. Praxis kit. There's two of them. I could buy them. I don't think I need them. I think I'll level up fine. Take care of yourself. Ow, I just hit my desk. Hey, I'm free to go. What the hell? I thought he had a Hitler mustache. Testing is not against the law. I know that, officer. But some of those guys were carrying tire irons and setting garbage cans on fire. And those were the ones we arrested. The rest were merely exercising their right to free speech. What about my right to come to work each day without fearing for my life? I've still got to walk home tonight. I understand your concern. But if you want round the clock protection, I suggest you hire a private security company. Mm hmm. They probably could afford to hire a private security company. It, oh, I am I almost unplugged my mic. Back to, back into the streets. Hold on, I have something to check. Back. Yeah, I just spoke to Vera Markovic. You aren't getting any Praxis kits installed? All you said to do was see the doctor. I did that. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm just surprised you didn't take advantage of the account I set up for you. Where am I going now? Back. But no matter. Right now I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance on the side of the building. So that tells you that you don't have, you know, your limit, your options aren't limited. If I recall, there is a side entrance, but when you do it, you have to not kill anybody, or you can. I don't know. I need to get over there. Do I have any prac? I keep hitting start. Do I have any upgrades? I have one. Where's my hack? I'll buy it. Because I need this. Hack. Oh, this might be bad. Access Fuck. It's not a fail for good, is it? <sighs> Fuck me. Okay, well... I'll come back. I haven't hacked in a long time. Barrels! Push through them. I'm on the other side. Oh, it's basketball. One more try. Top of the dumpster. Here we go. Nope. Hold on. Is this the way I want to go? No. Oh, back. Oh, no. It's, that's the way I want to go, but I can't. These guys are still unconscious. Just hanging out in the alley. No one, uh, no one has to know. 
How you doing, buddy? We want to go to the right. Unless, yeah, we want to go to the right. Jump on people's cars. How much? Okay, that's a good question. How? Wait a second. Is that a person I can talk to? Hey, Jensen. Long time no see. Yeah, I was right. Jensen. My God, it's been a while. Remember me? We used to work the old 17th precinct back in the day. Man, I wish I could go with the good old "you haven't changed at all" bit, but that'd be complete and utter bullshit, right? Friendly. Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. You look a little different too, Xander. What's your new gig? Deep cover. I'm keeping tabs on the derelict row ballers for now. I've got to hunt something big. Why do I get the sudden feeling you're about to include me into that something big? Because you're clever. That and the fact that, well, it's pretty obvious. But jokes aside, you couldn't have come at a better time, Jensen. This case I'm on, we're stalling and we could use a little external help. Go ahead. I'm with IA now, and we're working a sting on a dirty cop named Jack O'Malley. Elusive, motherfucker. I mean, men in black elusive. We know he's involved in drugs, weapon dealing, tied into the gangs. But he's clever, and we just can't seem to pin anything on him. I swear he's got friends in high places. Okay, and where do I fit in all this? You're an outsider. You can go places we legally can't. I need someone to do a couple of things. Break into his apartment, sneak into DRB territory, and finally, go undercover posing as a hitman. This guy is nothing minor, Jensen. He's the real deal. Major player, major consequences. We have to get him before shit hits a fan. You in? I'll take it. I don't think... Guy like that roam free. I don't think I've read in this quest. All right, then. Let's get to I work. I have no memory of it. Like I, said, I've got I remember talking. Very promising leads, but... O'Malley's got friends among the powers that be. I wouldn't be able to get my hands on a warrant even if I had footage of the perp confessing in real time as he's finger painting his motive on the wall in the victim's blood. So I guess we're gonna have to break a few rules. Suits me. Rules would only slow me down. Hmm. Very dirty hairy of you, Jensen. But we still have to be careful how we handle this. We've worked hard to catch this son of a bitch. I don't want him to walk on a technicality. So what am I looking for in O'Malley's apartment? Information, drugs, weapons. Basically anything you think can be used to build a stronger case against him. The more you get, the better. Shipment. Okay. What's this about getting into DRB territory? Yeah, I needed to get in there and track down a shipment of weapons for me. We managed to gain access to solid information that will tie it to O'Malley, but I need proof it's really there. They've probably stashed it around somewhere. A cop dealing weapons to a criminal anti og gang? Not a pretty picture. Got that right. I guess we both agree. Nothing good can come out of this, huh? I don't know where exactly the DRB's cash is, but I know there's a bonus for you if you manage to sneak in and out without being spotted. Would make shit easier I want to that. handle on my side. Hitman. What about the undercover assignment? Posing as a hitman. O'Malley's crafty and even a bit paranoid. He's always using proxies, scapegoats, and red herrings to get us off his ass. But after months of schmoozing, we finally got through to one of his guys. Turned him into a mole. He provides us with information, stuff like that. And he's gonna be my way in? Exactly. Yesterday, another one of O'Malley's guys whacked someone, a drug dealer. There's a witness, but we don't have any details. O'Malley does, and he wants someone to take care of the mess. The usual guy just got busted for possession, so the contact will send you in to pose as his replacement. O'Malley will be waiting for you in an alley next to the police station. And you want me to milk him to get the info on the witness? You haven't lost your touch, Jensen. We think O'Malley will ask you to retrieve the murder weapon, use it to kill the witness, and then plant it on a scapegoat he can arrest later. What you need to do is get that weapon and bring it to me. And what about the witness? We're almost positive he's a member of the MCDs. Once you know the location, you'll need to get there, take care of any opposition, and prep him for retrieval. Prep him? Well, you know, he's a gangbanger, Jensen. He's not going to turn in peacefully, but we need him alive. So I guess you're going to have to play this one macho and knock him out. One of our guys will then just happen to stumble upon him. You know, serendipity. Okay, let's do this. You can contact me on my info link if anything comes up. Excellent. 
Oh, and Jensen, one last thing. To protect my cover, it'd be better if you only contact me again once you've taken care of everything. Yeah, I was going to say, you've been revealing yourself quite hardcore. But I think that's enough for today. So I'm enjoying this. I'll probably play more of it, probably tomorrow. But I have stuff to do, other things to record. But hey, thanks for watching.